What is up everybody? It's your boy King Voice Productions and I'm back at it with another reaction video. Usually I do reactions on my reaction channel, um, but for stuff like shows, movies, and stuff like that, I like to stick on this channel just because my other channel is mostly just music, and by mostly I mean all music stuff related, so I kind of keep that more music related, and then this is like my channel where I do whatever I want, like gaming. I mostly do gaming on this channel, but I, I'm going to start doing some other stuff too, music, skits, shit like that, but uh, obviously, but you can tell by the title today, we're here with the Flash Comic Con 2019. Uh, it says called it's called the sizzle. I don't know what the fuck that means. I'm I'm hoping this is a trailer. That's what I'm expecting a trailer um, for season six. I want to say of the Flash. I'm pretty sure it's season six. Is it? Yeah, season six. See, I know because I have all the DB. I have all the Blu-rays of every season, and I have four. And I think because five hasn't come out on DVD yet, so I just know it that way. But anyways, for season six of the Flash. I'm excited to see where they're going to go because now Flash Flash is now going to be, after Arrow ends, it's going to be like the top the top dog, like the oldest show of, of the superhero shows. So like it's going to be like the most experienced crew, or not crew, but team, like meaning like the, the Flash team, not like the people like behind the scenes of the show. Shout out to them as well because they made a really cool show, but, but like I mean like Team Flash, they're going to be like the top dogs of, of the universe now. And I, I heard, I don't know, I heard rumors swirling around on Twitter that some people were trying to leave the show. I don't know if that's 100% true. Like, I heard the guy that plays Cisco was going to leave. I've heard I've heard something that, like, Danielle Panabaker's going to leave. I don't know. Like, I really don't know if any of this shit's true. I just see it on Twitter, and I assume, not, I don't assume that it's real, but I'm hoping it's not true. But let's just check this out. I, I'm not going to lie, season five kind of ended a little, like, eh, like, meh. But we'll see how it how it's gonna season six is gonna be. My name is Dr. Ramsey Rosa. And for the last decade, I've spent my life dedicated to a single cause. Helping others fight the diseases that plague humanity. But not anymore. And it's all. See, why is this what is this shit? This shit is like some damn Fast and the Furious 7 shit. Y'all remember when the Fast and the Furious 7, they did this same shit? <laughs> I remember that. I think it was 7. Where they had like the barbecue in the back. And it's all because of them. You see, there are many cancers in this world. And they all wear different faces. Some are doctors, like me. Some of them seek out the truth, regardless of the consequences. Others mock the very science they worship. We just ran out of time. But the most dangerous ones are those who call themselves heroes. They claim to fight for the things that matter. Oh shit, I, I forgot too that Cisco lost his powers. Like he took the serum to lose his powers, so he doesn't have his powers anymore. But they still got, um, the I forgot what he calls himself. Mr. Elastic or family, some shit? Elastic boy? I don't remember. Order. Most of all, for life itself. Hang on! I got you! What the hell? Why is it every time I come to visit, there's always a crisis? But it's all a lie. Because oh, yeah, end. didn't the last season end with, like, a fucking, like, a shot of the newspaper and it said, like, he was gonna die or some shit like there's that? only one battle. One I can't remember. to fight against. An eternal enemy who must be eliminated forever. And that's death itself. Are we under attack? The scientifically impossible probably will happen. I don't need to understand them. Just tell me what I can do. No one has to die ever again. It's interesting. That's an interesting trailer. I don't know who that guy is supposed to be. 
Um, I'm probably going to look into it a little more. I pro maybe I should have looked it on this up before I watched it. Um, maybe it says it online. Now, hold on, let me see. So it says, The Flash is still month months away from bringing its sixth season on the CW. But big news about a huge upcoming villain that will get any Flash fan excited. The show will introduce a new character by the name of Bloodwork. With the name in the comic-based TV show, you can probably guess he's not the friendliest guy in Central City. Um, the new showrunner um, spoke and said Bloodwork as the new villain. Bloodwork will be the big bad for the, only the first portion of the season. With another big bad taking over the villainy in the second half. At the panel, the Flash... For the Flash, Wallace said regarding the next guy to cause trouble for what remains of Team Flash. Hmm. So, he said Ram Ramsey Rosso will play the wonderful San Sandhill Rama Murthy. I don't know how to say that. He is an acquaintance of the lovely Dr. Caitlin Snow. However, their old reunion goes very, very south when he joins Team Flash and ends up going down a dark path. The the mad science thing that he becomes the most terrifying foe that Team Flash has ever faced. Hmm. I'm excited. I mean, that that sounds like it's going to be cool. I'm interested in seeing. I don't really... I mean, I guess I do actually... I, I take that back. I do like when they do two big bads in one season. Because when you do only one big bad the whole season, especially like shows like this, where like... They have 20-something episodes. Like, you, like last season had 22. The other four had 23. I'm not sure why they only had 22 this season rather than 23. I don't know if they're going to go to 22 now. But any, in any matter, 22 episodes, it takes a lot for you to write for 22 episodes all based on, like, this one villain. And, it, and I liked how... I like when they split it up to where, like... So, like, the first 11 or 12-ish are the one bad big bad guy you know like oh this is the big bad that we're fighting for the first half of the season then we stop him then there's like another thing that that happens because of that that sparks the next big bad that you fight the rest of the season that makes it so that it's not doesn't get like repetitive and boring because i feel like that kind of happened a little last season with cicada because you're like all right for fuck's sake how can you not get this bitch like, you've had him, they had him, like, four four or five different times, and you're like, damn it, would they just get his ass? Like, how hard is it to get this motherfucker? And they finally, you know, got him. Or got her. And that, that was cool how they how they did that, where she came in from the future or whatever. But that was cool, but... Hmm. I wonder how... I wonder how they're going to tie in the events of the Crisis... Oh, I can't remember what the new one is called. The Crisis on Infinity Earth? Was that the one that happened this year? The new, the new crisis, whatever that shit is. The one that's basically going to... I'm guessing... I'm guessing is going to kill off Oliver Queen. That's what I'm guessing is going to happen. Because that would be a cool way to end it if he dies or something. That would probably be like the most... Not the... I almost said the most best. The best way for him to go. And for the show to end. Because, I mean, obviously if... I'll talk about it more with Arrow when I watch the Arrow one next. So if you are a fan of Arrow 2... Why don't you head over to there? Because they'll probably be up at the same time. But, um, like, Arrow, you can't have Oliver Queen dead. Or you can't have Oliver Queen alive and there's, like, tons of shit still happening in the, around the world. Because he's going to want to, like, you'd, if, you're a, if you're a hero, you'd want to, like, go save the day, you know. But I'm excited to see what they do with Arrow, too. But, so I'm going to go check that out right now. But, yeah, Flash seems interesting. They didn't show much. But I, it doesn't surprise me that they didn't show much. It was only a two-minute trailer. Um, they're probably going to come out with another like full-length trailer, probably later on before the premiere. So we'll probably check that out. I don't know if I don't know if we'll do a reaction to it if it if it comes out. If I even see it comes out, um, I might sit down and do a reaction. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I'm excited for the Flash Man Flash season six. I hope it gets. I just hope it like I don't know the repetitiveness of it kind of got. A little tough last season so i hope it gets like better with not getting super repetitive in this upcoming season so i still love the flash though it's still one of my favorite shows so thank you guys if you guys did like please leave a like please subscribe original video is in the description down below if you'd like to check that out for yourself um make sure you guys uh go subscribe to my other channel which is king boys reactions if you're a fan of like hip-hop music and stuff like that i do a lot of those reactions over there also if you are a fan of like gaming 
and stuff along those lines. I do gaming on this channel too, so if you guys would want to check that stuff out too, that'd be great. Thank you guys, and until next time, it's your boy, King Boys Productions. Squaw! Blue face, baby.